So a deconverted man one asks, um, what are your views on drawing Muhammad? Um, <clears throat> firstly, what I would say is that I've been a Muslim <clears throat> about 25 years and I've never felt the need to draw a picture of anybody really, um, no less, uh, especially not Prophet Muhammad, I've never, never really had a need to do that. Um, Besides which, um, the, the thing is, it's like, I'm a follower of the teachings, so, yeah, Muhammad came and he brought these teachings, but it's not him as the person I'm following, it's the teachings, and they inform my actions, you know, so, um, there's no need to draw pictures in there, you know, there's no, it serves no purpose, basically, you know, it's just me practicing a set of instructions and rules, um, and implementing them in my life. Um, and, and that's it really. Um, on a sort of like a sort of like slightly finer point, I wouldn't actually know what the Prophet Muhammad looked like anyway, <laughs> not in detail. So even if I did try to draw something, it would be just an attempt. It's like because nobody nowadays knows what he looks like. Um, I mean, even at his time, you know, um, because they didn't have mass media and photographs and all the rest of it. Um, if you hadn't actually met him, you wouldn't know. Who, who he was, um, and this is borne out through, you know, many stories um, in, in, his, in his life account. Um, there's one famous account where he went to ask a woman's hand in marriage, and she apparently replied, um, I seek refuge with God from you. And he replied, you have sought refuge from one, I grant you, uh, sorry, you have sought refuge from one who is um, uh, worthy of um granting refuge um, and then she she realized who it was it was Prophet Muhammad that she was actually talking to and she became a bit regretful but it was too late by then so this woman who was a contemporary of the Prophet Muhammad didn't actually even know who he was when she first met him um, so if she'd been asked to draw a picture of Muhammad um, or attempted to do so it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been a, a picture of him because she's not seen him um, in Islam, generally, pictures are of living things, things with souls in them, are prohibited. Um, and the the this sort of like harks back to the time of Noah, um, where the the people, human beings, the children of Adam, had been um, united for twenty generations before Satan managed to sow discord between them and to get them to divert their attention or their natural inclination away from devoting themselves completely to God. Um, and the way he did it, he, he was very sneaky, of course, uh, very subtle in stages. So what he did was he he told or um, suggested to people that they um, remember good people who died and they erect like pictures above their graves so they could remember them and how good they were in, in um, devoting themselves to God. And so people did that. And then after a time, you know, Satan waited and then people forgot what the pictures were there for and then Satan came to them and told them or uh, suggested to them that they actually start asking those pictures, you know, uh, um, to ask God for things. Um, and so that's the first idolatry that started. People started, you know, worshipping pictures and statues and these types of things. Um, and it's only with Islam in its final form, um, that, that all that actually got prohibited. Um, so it's cancelled out, um, and uh, as a result of which, drawing pictures of animate things um, is, is prohibited. Um, so, just uh, looking at the points I've made about this. Da, 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 da. So yeah, that's, I suppose that covers it really. The um, like I was saying, the nobody knows what Prophet Muhammad looked like anyway. Um, even his contemporaries, if they hadn't met him, they didn't know what he looked like. So if you're drawing a picture of Muhammad, it's um, it's just you saying it looks like him. Nobody knows, yeah. But but generally speaking, animate objects are not to be reproduced because this is one. This is like competing with Allah in His creation. Yeah, only Allah can create animate beings. 
nobody else can. So what will happen to a person like that on the Day of Judgment is they'll be asked that they, anything that they created, um, they, they sort of like um, try to make him reproduction of an animate thing like a picture or a painting or something. Allah will um, order them to put a soul into that thing. Yeah. So, which is something that nobody can do. Only the Almighty can do that. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think that about covers it. If I've got any more, if I think of anything else, I'll just make another video because it's quite a big subject actually.